very difficult for me because it's hypothetical. I know and I accept the fact that people are going to feel whatever way they're going to feel. <laughs> In his hypothetical play-by-play, O.J. Simpson tells Judith Regan he and a friend named Charlie went to Nicole Brown Simpson's house on June 12, 1994, the night she was brutally murdered along with her friend Ron Goldman. As things got heated, I just remember Nicole fell and hurt herself. And uh, this guy kind of got into a karate thing. And I remember I grabbed a knife. I do remember that portion, taking a knife from Charlie. And to be honest, after that, I don't remember. I think everything was covered, would have been covered in blood. Simpson alternates between talking about Charlie and speaking in first person. You write about removing a glove before taking the knife from Charlie. Uh, you know, I had no conscious uh, memory of doing that, but obviously I must have because they found a the glove there. The former football star then says he and Charlie fled and tossed the bloody clothes. I think Charlie is OJ. This is no hypothetical. Christopher Darden was also part of the special and one of the prosecutors in the criminal trial where Simpson was found not guilty. I think he's confessed to murder. This idea that it was a confession interview is a joke. Sunday, Simpson's attorney, Malcolm Laverne, claimed Regan was leading Simpson through the interview to push book sales. <laughs> this was scripted by Judith Regan, the publisher of the book, and Mr. Simpson went along because, quite frankly, he got a lot of money up front to go along with this. More than a decade later, Laverne says his client is moving on. Still, the public may not be ready to do so. Everybody is going to give their opinion. He was guilty or he was purging his guilt. Whatever you want to take from it, I cannot control it. In a statement, Judith Regan tells CBS News, as anyone can see from his responses on the special, I did not feed him lines. An attorney for Ron Goldman's father said, while justice has eluded our family, Fox Entertainment enables everyone to make their own judgment. In a 1997 civil trial, Simpson was found liable for the deaths of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman. Vladimir Dutier, CBS News, New York.